Alright, what's up guys, it's Boltzies. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do 3D camera text in CapCut. For that, I want to mention though, we just hit 1,000 members in my editing server. If you all would like to join, I'll put the link up here. I have an editing pack that will save you guys hours or even days of editing. The link for that is right here. Thank you all for 17k on TikTok and 2k on YouTube and 1,000 members in the server. I love you all and let's get into this tutorial. Alright guys, now we have the text here. So it's going to look like this. I'm fortunate enough to be loved. So we have this part done. Now what I'm gonna do is if I wanted them to overlap, they'll be on the same panel, for example. I'm going to go like this, drag them all out above one layer, and drag them all out. So now it looks like this. I'm fortunate enough to be loved. So now they're all in the same layer and they're still there. First off, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to player three, and then I'm going to drag this on, but we're gonna actually take that out for a minute. What I wanna do is I wanna put these where I want them before I add player three. So I wanna put this one, for example, right here. And then this one, for example, right here. And I'm gonna actually center this one a little bit more, come here to enough. I'm gonna put this one on the sand, and then I'm gonna put 2B on the right, and loved right under it, like this. So, for example, this is going to look a lot different when I'm done, but I want to drag over all of them. I want to go here. I want to grab resolve. It should be resolve in the fonts. And then I'm going to put the character spacing to three and then dragged all over them, right? I'm going to go like this and readjust all of them, make them smaller after you can adjust them again if you want to. So what I want to do, so I'm going to come over here and readjust these as well. Go like that. Just be readjusted a little more. Readjust this one some more too this one as well to be a little bit further than there so it kind of looks like this right i'm fortunate enough to be loved so now we can get into player three so what i'm going to do is since these two are together right i'm going to put player three over both of them and i'm going to go like this and i'm actually going to drag it out backwards a little bit a little bit more actually and probably about right there is fine i'm going to go ahead and turn the texture off because it gets rid of the music is playing up there so we don't need that now what you're going to do is you're going to select all three of these. Then you're going to create a compound clip. You can press Alt G on your keyboard. What you're going to do is go ahead and split the beginning right there. So it fits the clip. And then now it doesn't have the fade in. So now it just comes in immediately, which is what you want. Now you can change the speed of these things. You can do really whatever you want. If you wanted to, I would personally turn these to rotate and make them a little bit bigger depending on how you want them to look and I would change the glow a little bit so now it looks a little something like oh if this happens right here all you have to do is go in here and go to one of this for example go over to the right and then also drag this one to the right but for example I'm gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna shorten the size right over here by the way you can keyframe these things if you want to move so for example if I was to keyframe the beginning over here and click rotate and then go over here and then click rotate again on the beginning and end. So this one's gonna be like 50, for example, right? And then this one will be 70. So now it'll move through the video. You can adjust keyframes and things like that. But what I would recommend if you were to do the moving ones like that, after you're done with it, go to click on your clip and then come over here to video and then find motion blur and put this on and then change it to like 30% roughly. And then also, put this on to both make sure it's on both so it kind of looks like this i'm fortunate enough to be loved it looks a lot smoother when it's moving so i'm gonna actually change this a little bit more and i'm gonna make the text look a little bit better so i'm gonna come here shorten them a bit put them up there on top of the building now it kind of looks like that now you do the same exact thing for the next ones or if you want to change it say for example enough is like a kind of bigger word so and it's also by itself so and it's in the middle i'm gonna do this instead i'm going to go here and then i'm actually going to cut it right here on this and i'm going to go delete that we're going to click on this click add mask text and we're going to put cancel my bad we're going to do so it's going to look something like this you could do this with other different ones for example by the way all you would have to do is do this to get your clip to show again. Turn on auto snapping. Right here, all you'd have to do is go like that and then turn off the mask and then put this one above it. And now if you were to put something like player three on it, then it would show, but it's not showing right now. Well, for example, if I was to put player three on it like that, you could see it right there. It's not very bright, but you'd have to change the settings. So you can go to adjust, change the temperatures, 
and it'll pop up it'll show up and all that you don't even have to use multiply or anything like that but say if you want to use a different one for example we go here drag that back to where it was and say i got say i wanted something out of my backgrounds right and you want to like a moving one let me throw this on here right here now what we can do come over here delete this and we can also do the same thing that we just did before on this one instead my texts aren't well that's probably why now we can go to text and then type in enough if i could type all right we're in enough and you have something like that now and you can change the character spacing here as well and then you can go to adjust and you can adjust the stuff that you want so i'm not going to take that off then we can change the colors of things as well especially with exposure and contrast and things like that it really changes the look of everything so that's how you make custom text but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a simple glow so i'm gonna actually go back control z everything that we've done before so we're back here and we have enough back and our splits aren't there anymore so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna come up here to glow i'm gonna go ahead and create a compound clip for enough by itself and then we're gonna put you can type in glow you can find a whole bunch of different effects that you can do put like glow on it and make it look like this you could do things like hollow scan type in hollow scan you can put hollow scan on it and it makes it kind of look like that you could change the atmosphere to take it down change the speed and now it looks like this it's enough to be loved gives it a little blue glow but honestly if you're doing a white text and i should mention this if you're doing white text it's not the effects aren't going to show up as well but if you do like red text for example you can see the blue a lot better on the effect enough to be loved and you could just play around with the effects and all that and change them around obviously that doesn't look good but you could just play around with them that's the best way to learn honestly so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to type in player three and we we're going to do the same exact thing we did with these for the top ones. So I'm going to come here. What you want to, you could also do this and go to the far end. But I just, I recommend going right there. But it's okay, whichever one you want to do. Compound clip them together, split it right there. And then now we can go in and we can change these to this way. So probably like 25 would be okay. And then you can also change the horizontal and stuff like that. But I would be careful because it does do like tiles and you don't want that. So, but you can change them vertically. That looks pretty good when you can change them vertically. And we are going to go out and see how it looks so far. So it obviously needs to be repositioned. So we're going to put it, I want the V to be in the middle of this wood spot. So that looks actually pretty decent for just a tutorial. Now I'm gonna move enough over and down a little bit. So right here, you have uh, your 3D camera, both your 3D camera text and a custom text right here. But if you wanna make them look better, that's all about effects, adding other effects, but you can just play around with. A, a very good tab you can look in is new. And then also you can look in light right here. Light is very good for this type of stuff as well because it has effects like spectrum scan it has a lot of things and it looks kind of like it does it like i said the blue doesn't show as well on white so you'd have to change the color of these so i'm also going to show you guys real quick how to change the colors of these and these actually need to be moved over a slight bit just a tiny bit but you can change the colors of each individual one so if i wanted to turn loved to red all you do is click on the loved and change it to red and for example if i wanted to change fortunate to something brighter it's a bright word i could put it to like green so it looks like this and now the full thing looks like this it's probably not going to be amazing but you get the gist i'm fortunate enough to be loved and then all you'd have to do is say we were over here right all you'd have to do is grab all of them and then drag them back over to the left and then you're good all right thank you guys for watching and let me know what else you guys want to see from tutorials and i will go ahead and get to them thank you guys and peace out love you all